Introducing the donut, an inflatable space station, one of the newest things in the American space drive. It'll be sent into Earth orbit, and the crew taken on board in actual flight, brought to it by an Apollo capsule, with no more fuss than changing trains at crew junction. Unveiled in Las Vegas was the astonishing X-20 dinosaur. In 1965, it'll fly in space, once it's been rocketed there, and a pilot will guide it back to Earth. No haphazard parachute landing. Six men are being trained to fly it, acquiring a know-how totally different from the techniques of the present astronauts. Just how the dinosaur will operate is here illustrated in remarkable animation films. Launching is by a Titan III booster, which has a thrust of two and a half million pounds, enough to put a 10-ton missile into orbit 100 miles high. At an undisclosed altitude, the twin solid fuel rockets will drop away. Higher up, the exhausted second booster is also discarded. Orbit of the Earth will be at the now usual speed of 17,000 miles an hour. The pilot can head off to the moon if that's in the plan. Returning to the Earth is also under his control. This will be the greatest advance in space flight since the first Sputnik. The shield falls away as the dinosaur re-enters the Earth's atmosphere and the upturned wings act as rudders. Choosing his landing ground, the pilot will bring her down as gently as any glider. <laughs> 